Also now at 6, police are investigating back-to-back -back deadly crimes in Tamarack. A woman killed in her own home. Hours later, at another home, a man opens fire, killing a woman and then turning the gun on himself. The maps here showing that the violence happened close to each other, but police say these cases are not connected. Now we're live on air and always streaming on CBS News Miami with the CBS News app. CBS 4 has live team coverage tonight. Ted Scouten is standing by with more on the murder suicide. But first, let's head over to CBS 4's Peter Dench with the latest on the homicide investigation. Peter? Well, Lauren, this case remains a mystery. It happened in the victim's second floor apartment and 27 hours after it was first reported. BSO's forensic response unit is still here along with officers and investigators. Crime scene investigators and detectives from the Broward Sheriff's Office scoured the Tamarack Village apartment complex for clues. It's where Matthew Thomas and his brother Frederick live. They tell me they are deeply troubled by the murder of their neighbor, identified by the victim's friends and other neighbors as 23-year-old Kayla Hodgson. Oh my God, it's terrible, man. Like, I mean, we don't even know who did it, so like, it's even scary to the residents ourselves. They recognized Hodgson in the photo we showed them. I've just seen her, don't know nothing about her. I think this, we need some justice. This, the murderer needs to be caught. Simple as that. I didn't know her personally. I was just here walking around, but she seemed like a very outstanding woman. And to hear that this happened like this, what do you think? Scary, man. Bro, it's crazy. BSO responded to a second floor apartment at the complex after a call around 3 p.m. on Wednesday. We received a call reporting an unresponsive female inside her home. Immediately, uh, district deputies went to the scene alongside with Broward Sheriff's Fire Rescue, and they were able to locate an adult female, and she was pronounced deceased. A BSO spokeswoman says homicide detectives are not saying if any evidence was found at the scene or if they have determined who took the life of Kayla Hodgson. Detectives are following their leads, and they are not releasing any information regarding what those leads are at this time. Frederick Thomas says this crime makes no sense to him. A life cut short. I feel bad, you know. Uh, prayers given out to her family. So BSO has no information to release right now on a motive or a possible suspect in this case. If you can help, call Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. There is a reward of up to $5,000. Now, as we mentioned, it's been a busy day for law enforcement here in Tamarack with the latest on a murder-suicide that happened just blocks away. Let's go to our Ted Scouten, who joins us live from there with an update. Ted? Hey, Peter, I want to give everyone just an idea of how close these two scenes are. When you take a look over this way, you can see those flashing lights down there. That's where BSO is investigating that murder scene. That's where Peter was. Now, if you just pan the camera over and go another 1,600 feet, this neighboring apartment complex or this neighboring complex, this is where that apparent murder-suicide was, and it has people here on edge. Um, so I woke up around 2.45 this morning, um, heard three loud bangs. Mia Bodwin explaining how gunfire in the townhome a couple doors down jolted her out of bed. Inside, a man and woman dead of an apparent murder-suicide, according to BSO. Four kids were inside when it happened. We heard a uh, deputy officer saying that it, it's safe, it's safe, come here, come here. Um, and that was the, the four young children that came running out of the of the house. Mia says the kids are all boys, ranging from infant to 10 or 11. Seeing them run out and seeing the, the oldest one holding the baby, just everything that must be going through their heads, it's, it's heartbreaking. And here is a very quiet neighborhood, so very safe. Neighbor Diego de la Serra can't believe that his neighborhood was rocked twice by violence in two days. Just around the corner, 1,600 feet away, is where another woman was murdered. It's, it's weird for me because I've been here for five years. We never saw any problem. And the only thing, someone opened a, a car and stole something, but nothing like that. Mia tells us the two violent incidents have shaken her. It's unusual for Tamarack. This is a safe place, but now, you know, I don't know, it just puts that feeling in you. Just, you know, you're, you're questioning your safety. 
No, as to that apparent murder suicide, BSO has not released any names in that case. They have not also not released any possible motive. Live in Tamarack, Ted Scout, CBS4 News.